Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Battle Chasers Night War. I kickstarted this game uh, because I'm a huge fan of Joe Maduro's work as an artist, and then I'm also a very, very big fan of the Darksiders series, which was kind of his brainchild, uh, when Vigil still existed and THQ didn't die. Uh, obviously, Darksiders is coming back, but Joe Maduro kind of separated himself out and uh, started a new st studio for this game. Uh, and so I just got access to the beta. I figured I'd try it out. I actually don't know how the beta works. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it because, goddamn, this game is gorgeous. I actually do not know much about Battle Chasers itself. Apparently it was a comic book uh, series for quite some time. Years have passed since the great warrior and leader of men, Aramis, vanished. Left behind were his mighty gauntlets. Artifacts of untold power, giving their wielder the strength to move mountains, as the stories were told. Also left behind was his daughter, Gully. She discovered her father's gauntlets, setting in motion the events that would make her a target of great importance, and bring her into the company of her greatest defenders. Nolan, the wise and mighty wizard, whose tongue is as sharp as his wit. His mysterious companion, Calabretto, a war goblin of immense power. Garrison, a swordsman, once brother in arms to Aramis, now sworn to protect his only living kin. And the rogue, Red Monica, who can be foe as quickly as friend. Together, they have traveled the capital lands while defending Gully from those who seek the power of her gauntlets for themselves. Nolan, on a personal quest to learn more about mana, which fuels the world's magic and technology, has led the group towards a mysterious landmass known as the Crescent Isle. There, vast reserves of mana were once rumored to exist. As they approach the island, they quickly discover why so little is known about the area. I don't know if this game is going to be completely voice acted, so we'll have to see. Uh, if it is, awesome. If it's not, I guess you guys will have to suffer through my atrocious voice acting. Yeah, hopefully, uh, it is gonna go, right? I do like that screen, though. Like... The art is gorgeous. Everyone hang on. What are you waiting for? Shoot back. Hit what? It's a stealth ship. This is stealth. It's always on me. All right, well, that was painful. Okay. We made it? Or at least I did. Bretto? Garrison? Please be nearby. All right, so I can run around. I've got inventory, healing flasks. I got some kind of fist thing, which apparently has limited resources, so I'll try and avoid that. Doesn't look like I've got anything else immediately available. Oh man, I've missed this art style. It's better than what Vigil had worked on, honestly. Debris. 
Yeah, so as far as I can tell, I think this is actually a turn-based RPG. Uh, I could be wrong. I mostly... Oh, hello. Zzz. You're awake. Here all right. Yes. Are you feeling better? You've been resting for a few hours. I guess I wasn't completely prepared for that cannon blast. Was I dreaming or did you leap off the ship to catch me? I did. How'd we make it down in one piece? Nolan. We fell through a portal he opened, placing us on the ground with only minor injuries. Then what happened to him? We don't know. In Garrison? Monica... Garrison fell through the portal as well. Monica appears to be missing, along with Nolan. And let's get moving. They could be hurt. Garrison already went ahead to search for them. Are you sure you're well enough to move? I'm so woozy, but we don't have any time to waste. I'll be fine. First, allow me to further heal your wounds. Then we will meet Garrison. Okay, for starters, let's see if I can mess with my options here. Uh, switching party members. Okay, that's probably... Oh, triggers. Uh, fishing, world... How the hell do I change the options in this game? Ah, here we are. Gotta press select. Okay, audio options. Please tell me there's a voice volume. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to crank these down pretty hard. And then I'm gonna go back, alt-tab, and, uh, actually get the, the audio right. Whenever I play a new game, uh... It just destroys ears. So, now that I actually have in-game volume sliders that I can mess around with, we'll finely tune as we go along. This should be a little bit better. Uh, hopefully, with dialogue, it should get smoother. I don't know. Okay, uh, so we got not much of anything. I mean, ultimately, I'm not entirely sure. Wait, I thought he was supposed to heal our wounds. Oh. That's how we do it. Okay. So it looks like each character has their own kind of field ability. So he has a heal. Is he going to be the team cleric? Is the giant... Oh. Is the giant fighty golem thing actually the healer? He might be. I'm okay with that. So when does this take place? Gully seems a little older. Hair's longer for one. I have no idea. I actually have never even touched uh, battle chasers before. Much less, like, really heard about it. Something survived the fall intact? Com common parts and some money. Um... But yeah, no, I, I I purely kickstarted this game based out of brand loyalty to Madura's work. Um, and so I actually have no idea about the universe or anything like that. So there's a comic about this, right? Yeah. Uh, I know I have access to 20 issues. I just never read them because I never had the time. Um, what's that? Oh, battle. You're dead meat. Okay, so we have actions, abilities, items, and flee. Uh, we've got limited mana. Well, let's start with jab. So, 14 damage, 10 overcharge. Well, the animations are nice. So, we got gut punch. Yeah, so he's, he's got obliterate and a heal move. Reduce all damage taken by 40% until next turn. If attack will active, 5 overcharge. Okay, let's see if, uh, oh, very fast. Oh, so this has a Final Fantasy turn order system where, uh, depending on how slow the attack is, uh, it may put you further back on the turn order. That's neat. I'm loving the animations. It's, the only problem is they might get a little bit slow later on. I'd almost really hope... Okay, I. It looks like we get ten mana per turn. Um, we'll we'll see uh, when we get back to to the golem. Let's just shoot him. Wait. Did she not shoot? I'm confused. So he's doing gut punch. But is she busy? Oh, I see. It takes a. Uh, in, instead of being the Final Fantasy thing, you actually have to do like a charge up before you do your move. That's cool. Okay, so we get some common parts. Slimeiker, EXP. 
Okay. But, uh... Okay, it doesn't look like he's got any of his abilities back. Um, but I hope they actually add, like, a speed up button for later. If I ever have to grind, those animations are going to be become actually problematic, because I'm not going to want to see them. I don't know, but yeah, this game looks amazing. Uh, the animations are great, the character models, the, uh, the rendering, the texturing, mmm. It's good stuff. Okay, Final Fantasy Tactics introduced a charge mechanic for archers. Gotcha. Oh, neat! Garrison went northeast looking for Monica and Nolan. We should head in that direction. I'm sure they're fine, but we should hurry just in case. Acknowledged. Alternatively, we go down this way and fight these guys for reasons. Okay, it looks like she's got some of her mana back. Uh, well, I don't really probably need to do Healing Wave. What about the Runes Bat? Looks like the Runes Bat has less HP. So I'm gonna do Scatter Shot on the Bat. Yeah, so you can see that she acts afterwards. That's that's cool. That's a, that's a neat function. But yeah, it doesn't look like we've got a Speed Up button. Which is unfortunate, because... Honestly, with games like this, you kind of want one, uh, just for when, like, you're on your 50th battle and you... I mean, as cool as that punch animation is, eventually we're probably going to get a bit sick of it. Well, whatever, that's... I mean, that barely matters right now. I'm... I, it's just... I've been playing Persona and I'm like, ooh. Okay, take all loot, blade leaf, fail herbs, and faintly glowing powder. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to have to do, uh... A bunch of crafting, but that's okay. Oh, I see. So it's not a free and open map. Uh, we have specific routes that we can take here. And branches. I like that. I like this map, actually. This, just in general, looks really good. Uh, we had something. Inspect. Worn letters on top of the sign read, Talon Crossing. The plank pointing east says, High Lake Village, with the message, Not Anymore, carved cryptically into the wood directly over it. The rest is damaged beyond readability. I'm actually going to take a screenshot of this, for better or worse. Uh, I've always wanted to work out an overworld map for a D&D campaign or something, and this is, like, kind of the perfect example. Uh, we just got a tunic thing. Let's see. Traveling garb versus the tunic. So, higher defense, but reduced physical attack power. I'll take that. Okay, if you have 20 issues, you have more than the 9 he made. Oh, I see. Okay, so I have the 9 he made, and then... Uh, I have eventually access to the Battle Chasers uh, issues when Joe Madura makes them. That's cool. Let's let's keep fighting things because why not? I like this overworld. This is really this is really cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. So doesn't look like she got her mana back on this one. I'm not entirely sure what the uh, what the trigger is. I assume I get it back from something, so I'm just going to keep wasting it, at least for a little while. What's with the, uh, what is with that, like, little talkie? I, I don't know. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter that much. So, it doesn't look like he got any more, so I, I'm not actually sure where it came from. Oh, that's how it works. You get, um, so overcharge is, uh, mana or something. Um... Because if you notice, it has like a little plus 10 or 20, or, oh, that's how it works. You, you, uh, you, overcharge is temporary mana. Normal mana doesn't come back very often. Um, but by hitting them first, then you get bonus. That's how this works. Yeah, that's actually really cool. So you don't you don't get mana back conventionally. You probably have to rest or find like a place of power. Uh, oh, hey, Garrison. Gully, I'm glad you're all right. What you did during the airship battle, shielding the cannon blast. You would have done the same for me. Maybe, but with messier results. You're a brave kid, but remember, we don't fully understand the power of your father's gauntlets. You have to be more careful with them. I had no choice. No, I guess not. I believe he was trying to thank you. Mm. Have you found any sign of Monica or Nolan? I haven't, 
and this village looks long abandoned. There are lights on the horizon, to the east. Might be a town. We should investigate. If they survived, they likely headed that direction. What do you mean, if? Nolan saved us. He can save himself. And Monica, too. You're probably right. Let's go find them. All right, what do we got here? Forest Vale, read. A handwritten journal entry is scrawled on the parchment. General Xavier returned from the main front last night. Because he came in darkness, few got a good look at him, other than to say he seemed well. The wars elsewhere have taken a toll on the outpost, with ranks thinning and our defensive practices becoming lax. I'm not sure Ravenheart even bothered to take his patrol last night, but then he always did seem the lazy sort. That should change with Xavier stalking the halls once more. Carlos. And more fights, but this time with three people. I assume it's a three-man party, as usual. I could be wrong, actually. Okay, we are not to be trifled with. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, so, the overcharge is temporary mana. So that's why we haven't gotten any back, but that's why it will say plus 15. There. Okay, overcharge. Yep, now it's telling us. Uh, so, I've already figured this out. Yay! I feel proud of myself. That poor spider. Yeah, there's got to be a way to get it back normally. Uh, but now, it, now I know. So let's just hit finish. I, I do like the fact that I can skip the outro scene. I'm getting kind of sick of seeing the outro in like certain other games like uh, Dauntless or Persona where it's just like, I understand that I got EXP. I really don't need to see it. Okay, so the spider is weak as shit. Like I said, weak as shit. Why is the bat more durable than the spider? I guess it makes sense from like a real life standpoint. Uh, but from a like pure game size, that spider sh seems like it should tank some more hits. I want to play more RPGs like this though, like, hot oh, damn, this is just so pretty. Uh, oh, okay, so she unlocked Quakefest and he's got nat nature's boon. Why is, why is the war golem a druid? I, I have no qualms about this. I just have questions. Uh, road sign leads precariously to one side, reading North Harm's Way, South Wilderness. Well, speaking of wilderness, oh, I believe the town we spotted is just north of here. Perhaps we should head there before exploring further. Bretto's right. Let's head there first. Aw, <laughs> it forces me. I want to go fight everything. Well, we do have a, we do have a proper town. This must be the village. I see a few lights, but no people. Where are they? Hmm. Let's bang on a few doors. Book of Secrets. A well-made sign hangs in front from an oiled gargoyle at the door. It reads, out to lunch. Rip the sign down and throw it to the dirt. The enchanter will remember that. Half pint or full? Let's chat. Where are we? Missed the sign on the way in? You're in the town of Harm's Way. Don't worry, the bark's more, name's more bark than bite. That's relief. What tavern is this? The disemboweled traveler. Stay a while. Okay, browse wares. Okay, Granny's Batwing Pie. So, restoring 24 health each turn for a few battles. Oh, sweet. Looks like cooking's actually pretty effective. Looks like there's a fishing mini game, And that's Have all items. Or full. Let's see, do we have... Like, junk items. Looks like it's all crafting and whatnot. Well, let's ignore that for the time being. The heavy iron door, radiant furnace, and proliferation of metalworking tools strewn about tells you this must be a smith's shop. You're the Pull the math smith. Uh, hey. Who the hell are you? That's a rough way to greet strangers. <laughs> Being strangers, you don't know how rough we get around here. I suppose we're gonna learn quickly. Hey, skin's got to be thick to survive in a forsaken land like this one. And your hammer better be heavy. Speaking of forsaken lands, how did you lot end up here? We came in on an airship. As we approached, pirates ambushed us. Sounds right enough. Though not quite 
pirates, as you see. Bandits. Simple as that. Just thugs full of hot air. But they've been a right pain in the ass recently. Bandits. Who do they work for? Well, being bandits. Themselves, mostly. Well, that said, they're acting differently the last few moons. Less scatterbrained. More organized. As a few of us left a bit worried. We were separated from some friends during the battle. We think they may have them, or know where they are. We'd like to chat with them. Huh, <laughs> chat. A few weaklings came by, causing trouble last dawn. Chased them off down the south road. You can head that way, if you think you'll find your friends. If we don't, they'll regret it. Keep your head up. They must have a camp down there somewhere. Who are you? Avoiding the southern roads, are you? We'll head there soon enough. As you say. Interrupted, Mike. I'll be here. Okay, nothing else we can do. We'll keep them sharp. So it looks like most of this game is going to be voice acted. Thank God. I actually really like this voice acting. It's super good. Let's see. The door to this oddly shaped hut is locked. Strange tinkering sounds can be heard within. Knock. The flickering continues, but no one answers. Well, well. We have a fresh band of adventurers loose here in the Vale. I'm just going to look at the portrait for a second. Uh, of course, this being a, a Joe Madura game, it means the artwork is amazing. And the characters are equally so. I mean, admittedly, her outfit is kind of ridiculous, but whatever, I'll, I'll live with it. Experienced ones, no less. We've seen our share of battles, and you? Ha, <laughs> I have. Though, by the way, you hold your blade, not the same kind. Let's just say my foe are the wilder kind. Mm. The name's Raha. Beastmaster Raha. As I see it, the only foes worth fighting are the untamed kind. And lucky you, this island is littered with them. So we've seen... <laughs> the slimes and bats in the woods around town? No, you're in for worse than that. We're here looking for lost friends, not hunting for trophies. Indeed, many get lost on this island. Rescue mission or not, you could use some basic advice to survive here. Take this beast area journal. Track the creatures you fought. You'll find doing so rewards you with insight into their strengths and weaknesses. Surv survive long enough, and I'll push point you toward more worthy tests. You may find it necessary when searching for your friends anyhow. The search will be brief. We'll make sure of it. Then we'll be gone as quickly as we arrived. I've heard that before. Don't get killed, adventurers. Well. I'm assuming that eventually most of these will all get voice acted without me. But, hey, without me having to do it. But at the same time, I'll read it for now. So what's this guy got? Ooh, hi. Okay, so we don't have money. Overcharge cannon. Booty blade. Gold find. So it looks like... Oh, required level 10, 15. Jeez. Why is the attack power... Oh. So... The damage is higher, but it reduces your attack power, which is probably a separate uh, stat. But yeah, we would like the gold find increase. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait. Looks like a lot of the loot is actually pretty cool. This might have a bit of a gear treadmill feel to it, but at the same time, probably worth it. I love the collector's design. I love everybody's design for this game. Now are they going to tell me to go the other way? Or am I golden? Can I go here? I can. That's probably a bad move. Can I save? So we have some stuff here. So we have the Beast Jerry. We have World... Dungeon Codex. Oh, eight dungeons, 153 monsters. That's cool. Hopefully there's more than that, but I have no idea. It'd be crazy if there were eight dungeons in the beta, but I would do it. Inspect wall. This appears to have been a town well. It's in, badder, it's in bad shape and doesn't smell very good either. A flat round machine sits quietly in the earth. Dust and dirt are spread evenly across its surface. Turn it on. Nothing happens. I assume it's a waypoint so we can warp around later. That's cool. I am are, I am down with this game. This is really, really well done. 
and I do not regret picking it up. So let's fight things! Yeah, I think next time I do a D&D campaign, I might actually... Oh, hey, we got our... We got our mana back somehow. No idea how or why. Um, but yeah, next time I do a D&D campaign, I might actually uh, model the world map off of this. Because the idea of a... Uh, of like a big old overworld is actually really cool. And it would give me like some things to do. I've also got to say like... The, uh, the character proportions are a little bit goofy. Um, obviously, uh, Calibretto is massive, and appropriately so. I just wanted to comment that Gully's head is straight up just like... I want to say 20% larger than Garrison's. Uh, <laughs> which, I mean, it's fine. It's a, it's a character model. I just wish they'd scale Garrison up a little bit more. Oh, Shell is uh, upset because I'm voicing a female character without her. Uh, Shell, as far as I can tell, this entire game is going to be uh, voice acted without you. So, I mean, if you wanted to be here for this, uh, you're welcome to. But honestly, I don't think this is a I don't think this is a game that's going to be in your wheelhouse uh, beyond the occasional voice. Okay, let's see, can we do Healing Wave? What's nature's boon? Oh, mostly useless. None of my characters are particularly injured, but we'll hit them anyway. Can I defend? Left trigger to get more info about buffs and debuffs in a dungeon, cool. And it looks like defending actually works out, uh, has like specific buffs too, which is kind of neat. Let's see, I think I've seen the art for this before, when they were doing the concepts for it. Yep! I probably showed it to you. Careful wander, making an overworld in D&D can be more work than it seems. So what, what I'd probably do, and what they probably did, uh, here, let's go out to the overworld for a second and take a look at this. So if you notice, most of the trees are actually repeated. The trees and, and the bushes, I already see, I think there's about four or five trees, three bushes, um, and so on and so forth. Like, obviously, there's some variation, um, but a lot of the, the trees in the mountain ranges are not unique, necessarily, and that's totally fine. Uh, so what you can do is you can copy and paste them across across the board. Um, but what I'd probably do is actually almost do... I'm trying to think of what game uh, did it. Was it Carcassonne? Uh, I want to say it was Carcassonne, but I could be wrong. But I'd probably draw like little, uh, like a bunch of map assets and then fit them all onto little hexagonal, like hexagonal uh, tiles. Uh, so I can kind of procedurally generate a map for myself. Uh, without, like, drawing the whole thing together. I mean, obviously, like, eventually I'd like to spend more time with stuff. But I will... I will take time-saving measures if I can. Someday I'd like to make a video game, too, but I probably won't do procedural generation for that. Hey, you! So, I was originally avoiding these orange portraits because I thought they were going to be more dangerous, but it looks like they're actually weaker. Which is fascinating. Like, I was actually... They're... They're folding. I... Maybe it's type? Oh, maybe it's type of creature. It's like the, the type of creature. That if it's, like, orange, it's a beast. If it's green, it's a... If it's green, it's like a slime. I don't know. An imposing door stands surrounded by moss-encrusted runes. A thundering swamp lies beyond. Approach the door. Oh. I We have an exploration area. The Southern Gate. This gate is pretty big. What are they trying to keep out? Or in. Either way, I doubt we're getting it open. At least not yet. Yeah, you may be right. Yeah, so we need some kind of, like, orb to get there. 
Oh, that's fine. Yeah, let's just leave the area. I, I, oh, man. I am down with this. I was... I really was expecting something, um... No, I, I have no idea what I was expecting. I guess I just... Uh, lately, I've had kind of low expectations for games that I'm looking forward to, because I always get disappointed. Uh, but this one looks like it's going to fulfill all expectations. There's a strange campsite just off the road. Investigate the camp. Looks like there's some cool locales that we'll be going to later. Hopefully it's not all forest. Barricades in the middle of the forest? Someone is here. Yes, we should proceed with caution. Wanderbot, you keep making me buy games. I'm not making you buy games. I'm just showing off really cool games that you want to buy. It's about the same thing. The smell is certainly fresh. The bandit Grimbeard drove off? Mmm. Ambush. Damn you. What the? Wait. They've got like a tank. Well, we've got a golem. Okay, so I'm assuming he's... Assuming he's, uh, invisible. Okay. Yeah, can't hit the other guy. We just know he's hit, he's there. That's cool. So, yeah, we don't even know what these are. I should probably just actually use my abilities. Quake Fast versus Protection Scatter Shot. Oh. Well, it's probably not going to help me anyway. Because now that I'm thinking about it, we we don't have an overcharge. I almost kind of wish overcharge would uh, carry over from battle to battle, but that'd be a thing. Okay. And yeah, we're not taking too many hits. Correction! Ow! Alright, well, time for healing. Uh, nature's boon's kind of mostly useless. Just do that. And since he's shown himself, we can do a scatter shot on this guy. Okay, so Swift Strike, what's he got? Cleave. Rally Strike. Haste all party members by 10% for two turns. Or 40 overcharge, dealing 44 damage. And adding 0.2 to damage for each overcharge used. That's cool. We're gonna just good we're just gonna do cleave. Might as well finish off the uh, the tank. Plus, I like seeing the abilities. They're fun. I'm really looking forward to, uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the completed version. I think this game comes out fully, was it October or is it November? It's, like, only a month or two away. Like, we're actually pretty close to the full release. Uh, which seems kind of ridiculous to me, but it might be, like, the early access release. I kind of hope they don't go early access, but it feels like they might. Okay, it is October. Um, that seems too close to me, but... I only because the voice acting isn't in. As far as I can tell, mechanically, the game is perfect. This letter he was carrying has a seal. Must be important. What does it say? Hard to tell. It's half smeared in blood. It does say outsiders, which must be us. It also references an outpost. The smith in town may know what that means. What do I feel like this isn't... This is going to get complicated. Hey, free treasure chest. Alright. Let me get some random gear. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how the crafting system works. I assume it'll be, uh, actually worth something. Looks like it will be. Also looks like every time the characters level up, they get all their mana back. Okay, so Steam page says October 3rd, three weeks away. Wow. Uh, maybe? It just seems unlikely to me. Moore's Gate. The gate is locked and the woods beyond grow dark. I'm curious how much the, the beta is. Because it could actually be like multiple hours, or it could be fairly short. Oh, and because we've killed enough of the green slimes... Because we've killed enough of the green slimes, we actually know how much HP they have. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. That's a, a nice way of handling things. I, I like the idea of you not immediately knowing how good they are. Though I do appreciate the fact that it does say like, Hey, this person has this percentage of their he health left, more or less. And the yeah, music is good. I'll probably turn down the sound effects further when the full game comes out. Maybe? I don't know. Hard to say. I just always lis like listening to the music. Ugh, did I 
get the soundtrack? I think I got the soundtrack version. I don't really remember. We've also got that over there, but... Is there what a... I don't think there's a way to pan the map around. Not really. I can, like, kind of... Shift it with the right stick. But it... Oh! It almost makes it look like the character's moving Goodbye. faster. I could be wrong. And nearly in one piece. I believe we found the bandit you chased out of town. In his possession was a letter we were unable to fully decipher. Hey, let's have a look. Yeah, ink looks fresh. Says something about an ancient weapon. Anything else? Outsiders arriving at the island. Likely to, uh, complicate things. Outsiders? Does that mean us? Well, it's hard to make out entirely. But it speaks of the Iron Outpost. That can be sure. What's that? And where is it? Mightiest military fortification south of the snows. Long abandoned. But bandits have been going in and out a lot lately. Skies know why. Gate north of town is locked to keep people from wandering that way. Here's the key. Well, you look likely to survive. But just in case... I've got a fine weapon or two for sale here that may come in handy. If the talking turns to fighting. Some others around town have useful wares as well. You might ask around, see what you can find. If they answer your knocks, that is. There's work to do. All right, well, I think this is actually a wonderful stopping point. We're, we're kind of done with the, the first little side mission, and it looks like we're off on quite the grand adventure after this. Uh, so before before I go, so the a uh, couple of things actually. So the game comes out on October third, and apparently this is pretty close to actually what the final product is going to be. Uh, there's a developer in the chat uh, for this entire stream, and he was super helpful. So apparently, uh, this this more or less is the final version. Uh, the people that are not voice acted probably won't be. And as such, this is just going to be the first episode of the series. I'm not going to start over at the end of the beta because, let's be honest, it doesn't actually change a darn thing. So instead, uh, this is this is square one, and we're just going to go from here. I've already got five episodes filmed, and I cannot wait to play more. Uh, there will be a short break uh, at some point while we wait for the full game to come out because it caps me off at uh, level 15. Uh, and I'm level 7 at the end of the first session, but anyway, whatever. Uh, but so the game is 30 bucks, and it is 110% worth it. This game is wonderful, it's gorgeous, the music is amazing, the gameplay is great. I have not played a better RPG in ages. I mean, yeah, like, Persona's maybe got a little bit more, like, plot depth, but in terms of combat and, like, you know, exploration, oh, this game is so good. So good, I cannot recommend it enough. Uh, so I guess with this, uh, I... I well, I, I guess with this, pick it up if you're looking for any good R indie RPGs, because this one really is kind of perfect. So, with that, uh, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I like, like I said, I've got a bunch of episodes already filmed, and I'm 100% doing a full series on this one, because this is a good game. So, I guess with that, see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.